Did Spider-Man just blow Venom's chances at an R rating? It seems like that might just be the case. The Tom Hardy-led anti-hero flick is apparently only going to be biting people's heads off in a PG-13 fashion because Sony wants to keep the opportunity for a Spider-Man crossover alive. Like a in the wind. So this is bittersweet because half of the audience is like, how do you have a Venom movie without Spider-Man? But then the other half is like, but Logan and Deadpool were so good because they were rated R. I see you in the comments, Liefeld. If it's me, I'm secretly hoping Venom doesn't suck because I'll be really pumped when some characters are turned to dust in a post credit scene, thus shockingly confirming a connection to the MCU via Thanos and his jazz hands. It's a really interesting crux the movie is facing because just a couple weeks ago at San Diego Comic-Con, I straight up asked Venom director Ruben Fleischer if this movie would be rated R. I hope you guys earned an R rating. See, I really did say that, and he said, This is definitely a darker, more violent, uh, more vicious uh, Marvel character than I think anyone's ever seen before. So dark, violent, but no blood, no gore, Sony really is banking on an MCU crossover which would put Venom and Spider-Man face to face for the first time since Topher Grace tried to make it worth watching. Keyword there, tried. Still, Sony has other Marvel movies in development, like Black Cat and Silver Sable standalone outings, which could end up tying into Venom if Marvel Studios prez Kevin Feige sees this first entry to their Venomverse franchise and declares, that ain't it, Chief. Now it's theory time. Let's say Avengers star Tom Holland's Peter Parker isn't made available for the now PG-13 Venomverse. Andrew Garfield's amazing Spider-Man movies might have been everything but amazing, but it's an interesting opportunity to bring back the actor and character and have two Spider-Mans on screen. After all, we do live in a world where Jared Leto and Joaquin Phoenix can be playing two totally different Jokers in two totally different movies, so is bringing back Andrew Garfield really that bad of an idea? Let us know what you think of a PG-13 Venom for the purposes of a Spider-Man crossover in the comments section, or should Sony just literally say F it and go rated R? Wait, we're not, we're not rated R? No. Are we getting Spider-Man? Yeah, no. Okay, well hit me up on the social medias at Brandon Davis BD and head over to comicbook.com slash Marvel for more updates on Venom until it hits theaters in October. 